Hello everyone, so now we are going to do one more lab in the packet tracer we are doing now dynamic. So in dynamic what we discuss, let me take two routers, same scenario we will take. Uh, what we have here different thing is, in the static it will map one to one, in the static they are mapping from one to one, but here whoever is available freely, whatever IP is available freely, they can use that one. So we can check easily in the packet tracer that one simple configuration here so let me create the topology then i will explain what i am i want to say here so now we are doing the dynamic net example i taken the how many pc i taken i taken the 5 pc this one 4 or 5 pc whatever we need this is our topology 1 2 3 4 okay and let me give here the ip schema same thing we will use 200.1.1.0 and here we have the loopback 0 loopback 0 we have 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. and here this side we will use 192.168.1.1 ok and here in this one we will assign 192.168.1.2 and let me assign this IP to the machine also here I will go and I will assign here this one will be 1.1 .1. this is our gateway okay and here also I will go I will assign here 1.3 I will assign this to machine I will go to the desktop and then here and here 1.1 this is our gateway okay and here let me put here also this is 1.4 and let me go to the machine here I will assign here 1.1 this is the gateway and this one also 1.5 I will assign to this computer I will go here this is the gateway is 1.1 so this one we are going doing the dynamic NAT okay dynamic NAT let me write here somewhere so by seeing the lab we can easily track which one this one so this one is a dynamic NAT okay lab so this one we will do let me take the notepad also so I can write in the notepad notepad this is a dynamic NAT lab DYNAMIC dynamic NAT dynamic NAT lab same thing I will write ISP configuration enable config T just now what we done same thing host name ISP interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 IP address 200.1.1.2255.255.255.0 I will write here no shut and then interface loopback 0 IP address 8.8.8.8255.0.0.0 this is ISP basic configuration just now what we done before in our last lab same thing here I will assign to this router let me write here no and I will paste the configuration here okay everything is good let me save the configuration this one after that what I will do I will go for the our router this is our edge router so basic configuration I will write here I will write here the edge router configuration enable config t host name we can give any name okay interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 I will write here IP address same thing as we do before 1.1.1.255.255.255.0 no shirt and then I will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 I will write here IP address 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 no shirt and then we need to create one default route towards the ISP 0.0.0 .0. 0.0.0 .0, then ISP IP will be 200.1.1.2 okay this is a default route so this is the basic configuration let me paste from here to here to ISP uh, to our edge router so everything is good no error nothing okay so after that now the new configuration what we need to do here we need to do the NAT okay so NAT configuration we need to do here I will write I am doing now dynamic NAT configuration 
so this is important what we will do here we will select the traffic so i will write axis list axis list i can give any number i will write one permit with this i can select the traffic if you see here what i am doing here i am checking here i am using this subnet here all everywhere i am using 192.168.1.0 this subnet if you have imagine if you have one more here interface and you are using here 192.168.2.0 this subnet then uh, we can select let me show you first we will imagine i am using only one subnet this one and i will write here ip access list one permit then i will write here 192.168.192.168.1.0 and then i will write wildcard mask 0.0.0255 okay so what i am saying if any ip coming from this network with this wildcard mask permit that one if you have one more network you will copy like this same thing and you will press uh, enter and here you will paste and you will change example you have here two this one network you will select this if you have one more like this one more interface also example three dots something you can select this way but now we have only this only one so i am selecting only one no need for this one okay so what i done i selected the traffic after that what we need to do we need to write here ip nat pool we need to give the pool name i am creating the pool ip nat pool and i need to give the name i will give abc after that i need to write the ip starting ip and the ending ip whatever ip we buy from the isp example i buy isp ip is 200.1.1.3 okay this is one ip i buy from the isp i buy another ip that is 4 and then i buy one more five okay this three ip i buy from the isp so whatever ip i buy from the isp we need to define that one so uh, imagine i buy 200.1 that is one we use here two we use here so we have three four five so i am saying that one i buy this three ip so i need to put here so we need to put the range i will write here 200.1.1.3 the starting one and the ending one ending one is this one so from start from here and last one is this one so i am saying start from 200.1.1.3 and ending will be 200.1.1.5 after that give a space and write net mass and give the subnet mass whatever the subnet mass for this ip this is a class a ip so we have the subnet mass 255.255.255.0 so what i done here i selected the traffic our lan traffic whatever we have here then after that i am saying ip nat pool pool name you can give anything i am giving abc in that pool we are calling the whatever ip we selected we buy from the isp 200.1.1.3 till 200.1.1.5 and after that we are giving the subnet mask now we need to mix this one and this one both we need to mix we need to call both both together so how we will call we will write here ip nat inside okay inside source inside what is the source of inside this is the inside source this one first one so access list we use so i will say inside source list list number access list number we need to give one and we need to write the pool pool name pool name is abc so i am calling in this one i am calling the acl and also pool so i am calling this first one and also second one i am mixing both here so i am saying ip nat inside source list is one and the pool is this one after that we need to apply to the interface so what is the interface we have here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so we will write ip nat outside because this interface is outside then we have one more interface f0 by 1 here i will write ip nat inside okay that's all this is the dynamic configuration what we do let me copy and paste this in the router edge router so i think we paste something before let me check what we pasted till here we assign till uh, this default route we configure so after that this one we need to configure so let me take this <coughs> excuse me if you see here i pasted everything is good here no error nothing everything is working perfectly now we can go here and we can check we can ping the 8.8.8 .8 .8, okay ping slash t 
I can because I will write to ping continuously. So it will ping continuously this PC. Let's see it is working or any issue. Request I'm at for the first packet. Second packet also. Yeah, it is working. Let me go for the second computer. That is a another computer ping. I want T eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. How many IP you have? That many computer will work. Okay, ping, p i n g ping dash t eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Ping dash t eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. So what I done here? If you see this machine PC one. If you have confusion, let me write here PC one. This is a PC one. This is a PC two. This is a PC three. This is a PC four. Okay. Now let's see. This PC one is able to communicate. PC two is also able to communicate. PC three is also able to communicate. PC four will not communicate. Why PC four will not communicate? If you see, we buy only three public IP. So whatever IP available, they are using one, two, three. This guy is taking maybe this one, and this guy will taking this one. First one, this one maybe, and this one is taking this one. So no public IP is available. That's why this guy is unable to access. So if this guy stop accessing, then this guy can start working. Or if this guy or any one is stop accessing, this PC four will start working. And if you want to check here, you can go here in our Azure router. You can write here. show ip net translation and you can see here uh, what we can say this one this is the 192.168.1.2 1.2 is using the 200.1.1.3 okay and after that if you go down if you go down here 1.2 1.3 1.4 also if you see here what we are having This is a one dot three is using two hundred dot one dot one dot four, and one dot four is using two hundred dot one dot one dot five. So all IP whatever IP we buy that all are in use. One dot three someone is using one dot four someone is using one dot five also someone is using. Okay, so all IP are in the use. So no IP left. That's why our fourth PC is unable to access this PC. If you see this PC is unable to access. Why? Because this PC is working one, two, three. We have three public IP. All are using the internet, so this guy is unable to use. So what we will do if we stop this one, the other guy will start working. So let me stop here. What I will do here, I will stop. I stop the PC one. So now PC four should start working. After some time, it will take some time. From in the router, they will clear that what we can say uh, NAT table. After that, this guy will start working. PC, this one is not working, right? I stop this one, but this one is working. This one is working. This one is still not working. We need to wait some time. After that, this guy will start working. If you don't want to wait in the packet tracer, you can press this fast forward, so it will start working Im immediately. But in real scenario, you need to wait some time because they will have some session. If you remember TCP three-way handshake, we have some session, so that session will be removed from the uh, from the what we can say from here after that it will start working so let me check here if i write show ip translation 1.2 is working okay 1.2 1.3 1.2 1.3 both 1.4 also so if you see 1.2 which who is 1.2 this one still we have the session for this guy even if we stop but still we can see that entry so it will take some time to remove that entry now if you see this new entry we have 1.5 One dot five means this PC. So this PC start working here. If you see, automatically it is started. That's why we are calling this as a dynamic NAT. Let me repeat again. Before this guy is able to access internet. This guy is able to access internet. This guy is able to access. This one is unable to access because we are having only three public IP. Imagine you have three car in your home and you are four brothers. So three car. This brother use this car. This brother use this car. This brother use this car. You want to go, but you don't have any car. So you will wait. If any of your brother is coming back and he is not using his car, then you can use that car. Same thing we done here. When this machine is stop accessing the internet automatically, this machine start using that internet. 
okay so what we are saying this is a dynamic net dynamic means automatically they will do but here also we have the drawback one guy need to wait because here three guys is accessing the internet then this guy will not work if you ping here it will not work if you want i will do here it will not work till anyone stop here this guy will not start working so what we can say this is a dynamic net whatever the public ip we have that many computer will work if you have three public ip three computer will work but if any one computer is not using internet the other guy will start working automatically that is a dynamic net so we prove here okay we check we prove here so configuration is very simple what we done here i selected the traffic okay i selected the traffic after that i create the pool with the public ip then i mix the selected list and also the pool then we apply the net that's all this is only the configuration and if i stop this one then that will start working i stop this one after some time this will start working automatically they will work because we are doing the dynamic net so automatically they will do later we will do the pat pat is nothing but port address translation so even if i have single ip all machine will work with single ip by changing the port number so we will see that one later uh, so this is a dynamic net lab you need to wait some time after that this pc is stop already so this pc will uh, start accessing the internet but it will take some time if you go here in the net entry you will have the entry after some time that entry will be removed and that guy will start working okay so let me check now if you see still we have the entry 1.5 it will take some time after that it will remove so we will have the that router will start working the pc let me check here now still we have the entry it will take some time after that automatically that guy will start working if you don't want to wait you can press fast forward then it will start immediately i did not press but automatically it is start working here okay and if you go here and check here you will have 1.1 if you see 1.2 so this guy is started working now pc1 is started working before if you see here we have 1.5 this is a pc4 but now this entry remove from the nat table and here you have the new one that is 1.2 so pc2 is able to access the pc1 is working the internet this one is also working the internet this one is also working this one will not work even if you try to access it will not work because we have only three ip okay so this one we can say dynamic net let me 